So uh, Benjamin Lavery, who previously wrote a book on the Boston Tea Party, he argued that the, that the Tea Party was the catalyst that helped create the final breach between Great Britain and the American colonies. Uh, and I agree with that. Um, the destruction of the tea in Boston Harbor helped to bring about the Coercive Act. Um, and, uh, you know, so some people say it was actually the Boston Tea Party that galvanized the colonists to revolt, but I don't think that's right, right? It's the, it's the Coercive Act, it's the response to the Boston Tea Party that galvanizes the colonists and leads to more widespread resistance to British policy. The goal of, the, of Parliament with the course of acts was to isolate Boston and Massachusetts, but this completely backfires. And what you see in America is boycotts, the First Continental Congress, uh, the Minuteman companies uh, refusing to allow the mandamus counselors to take their seats, uh, and Massachusetts farmers essentially denying the authority of Parliament. Uh, and all that is going to lead to the shots fired at Lexington and Concord in April of 1775, and eventually the separation from Great Britain in 1776.